Shoot your shot. Shoot your shot. I'm here to say it. Without singing, without tune. I'm here to say it. Drake is the best rapper <laughs> to ever live. Oh, hold on. Nah, you draw. <laughs> he draw. I mean, we ain't go I there. He tripping. To say it. Hold up. Hold on, Check. Hold on, hold on. Stop. What's up, what's up, what's yeah, up, what's yeah, up? Yeah, shoot your shot. Shoot your shot, dickhead. We back, episode, where we at, chat? 11? 12. 12. 12. Wow. It's been a while. It's, it's been, been a while, man. New year. New, new year. New day. I know, we've we, we been on a little hiatus lately, but... Yeah, coronavirus is dying back down, so right. we're here. We yeah, it's not, it wasn't even that, though. It was just that we had to get on some other shit. Yeah, some business. Well, that, we had that, some that, business that, to do that, that, and that, everything. That you know that what I'm too. saying? But we back. We back. Everybody been asking us for it, so we... We, we, we here. Gonna, we're going to give you another one. Absolutely. And, uh, we, we, and many more to come. Exactly. We, we got some big things planned this year, too, with some with some guests. And, Absolutely. Um, we're going to take it to the next level, man. We're going to have it on every platform. We're going to... Um, Absolutely. We got a lot of a lot of on the business side. We got to work out stuff on the business side. But that's either here nor there. But sure. here, uh, you know, first things first, we're going to start it out with uh, this bottle here. What yeah. we got here, Joe? Well, listen, for, for, for everybody who don't know, what we do on this podcast is... We, we shoot our shot. We shoot our shot, man. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So anytime anytime we switch a topic or we say something that we agree with or disagree with or whatever, we shoot a shot, man. man. they know the vibes. We hear hey, we lit. We had to let them know. Hey, you already <laughs> drinking, man. And I'm already <laughs> drinking. Yeah, this is the first time I'm drinking beer and I'm about to take a hey, shot. Wow. It's about to get real. But yeah, we shoot a shot. We get fucked up and we just talk about whatever. You know right. what I'm saying? So. Right. Uh, with that being said, we are going to shoot our shot. And and what's, the, what's this bottle here? So, we so today we are messing with this is this is Jum request. What's, 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 this what is got? called Terramana Tequila. This is by The Rock. Oh, shout uh, the out Rock's to Dwayne company. Johnson. Dwayne Johnson. You know, that was what I'm my saying? favorite wrestler ever. Exactly. So, so what's his name again? What, it doesn't Johnson? matter what his name is. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking jabroni. <laughs> nah, Don't take this bottle and shove it up your candy ass. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, yeah, shout out to The Rock, man. Shout out to Dwayne Johnson. We're going to shoot our shot. I, honestly, I drink this shit, so I like it. All right, so all right. This is my ch- first time trying it. Check's first time, you know what I'm saying? All right, all right. So, this shit's like an energy drink to me, man. Energy drink? I mean, tequila in general just... Okay, 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 okay. That's the job. Ooh. Put you in fight mode or well, something. Well, first shoot your shot of... Of the year of 2021. Hopefully this shit don't act like 2020 on us. Absolutely not. Shoot your shot. <laughs> That's water. Yeah, That's mixed with some fucking alcohol. So, that yeah. smooth. All right, that- that feels like something the rock would make. Uh, very smooth. Yeah. Uh, it got a little burn to it, but it's just like pretty smooth. I think the next one's gonna be a little bit easier. That almost got the the Don Julio feel to it. Don Julio feel. Yeah. That what the forty little... twos? Yeah, that might have a little forty two. Forty two to me is smooth though. That shit was real. That shit smooth. But yeah, anyway, yeah. you know, you know. So the vibes. so first things first, we're gonna start out with I think Jum. Got another contest. Yeah, we're around yeah. This so time since, since, since since we're back to it, you know, back we're right we're right back. I'm gonna I'm gonna start it off with another contest again. So uh. if you get you guys involved, give out give out a, a prize and all that, and mm-hmm. just like we did last, just like we did last time, we um is submit your song, right? Right. So you're gonna send you're gonna send your uh, best song you got. Don't matter what you do, you rap, sing, whatever. Your best song. You're gonna send it to our email. Send it to the email. Right. We're gonna put we're gonna put it in the description and we're gonna have it on the screen here. Right. What is the email, by the it, way? It, I believe it's shoot your shot podcast at, at gmail.com. gmail.com. All right. right, cool. So send your best song to email, put your name on there, put your contact information on there. You know what I'm saying? And then also you have you have to follow us on on Instagram and the shoot your shot uh page as well. All right, so hold on. That, let's put that let's put that in perspective. First things right. first, this is what we need to do. You gotta send your song in, okay? Send your song to the email. Then your hottest you s- song. We're hot- picking the hottest song. Oh, hold on. Spittage, all it don't matter. The hottest song is what we're picking. All right. Then once you sing your song, we're gonna take 
We're going to judge the songs. We're going to pick the top five to ten songs. We're going to do a podcast just judging the five or ten songs. We're going to narrow it down to three. Then we're going to narrow it down to one. That's how I see it going. Yep. And uh, the winner will get. I'm going to give away two free hours here at Jumbo Sound Studio. Right. And, it, and if Check wants to add to the pot, he can. You know, he did it. He's done it before. You so know, you know, all right. So this is what we'll do. Uh, I want to do something to help the song out. But fuck it. I got another $100 for the winner. So he got all a right. bean. I got two hours in studio time. And you know we might we might mess around and get you up here on the show. Oh yeah, if absolutely. You're local. If you're absolutely. local, if not, you know we'll figure something else out. But, absolutely. Either you know. way, you gonna get your money and you gonna get your studio time. So you already know the straight vibe. up. So yeah, so so submit send your song. your song. Send it to the email. Follow us. Follow the tag pages. We will get you on the podcast. We will get you a hundred dollars, some studio time, whatever the case may be. That's what we're looking for. That's what we're trying to do. We're going to look for the hottest song. Any uh, suggestions on what we're judging for? That shit got to be hot. Period. Just hot. I don't care if it's rap, if it's auto tune, so if it it's be trap. Anything. If it could be, it could be. It don't have to be rap. Right. It it could be whatever. Just if you're an artist and and you do music, send your best song. Fast. Period. All right. That's it. So contest. So oh yeah, and shoot two. your shot. All right. And we're gonna shoot our shot <laughs> right. to you shooting your shot. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So pour it up for me, my right. time, jump yeah. easy. Right. You know All what right. I'm saying? Yeah, see, we, it's what we do. We get twisted on here. Yeah, and, man. And, and then, you know, the conversations start flowing with the alcohol. Absolutely. I, 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 I get better with time, like fine wine, and I get better with age, <laughs> like, you know, you know, whatever, yeah. everything else, yeah. whatever you want to say with that. You know what I mean? Shoot your Shoot shot. Shoot your shot. <laughs> so the last time we did the contest, we had a lot of... Um, <laughs> that one went down a little harsher. Yeah, we had a lot of participants last time. Yeah, we did it, so we're hoping to have that turn out again. You know what I mean? Like, make sure you follow Neither us. Neither or there. We do it for you guys. Right. Uh, we're we're going to get back to our roots, too, giving you guys gems, giving you guys game. And um, I was going to give you all this game, but now I'm going to give it to you all because now I'm in that bag to give it to you all. So uh, one thing I just want to say, you know, I always give you gems that you all can look up later because I'm not an expert on it. But for you rappers, I think you guys should be. Uh, right now, Facebook ads are running the game. Uh, Facebook also controls Instagram and stuff like that. So my personal opinion, if you have a music video, you should make a music page for yourself and um, run some ads behind it. Now, mind you, Facebook all, uh, also controls Instagram. So if you run your ads through Facebook... Uh, ads page, you will uh get your song on Instagram on everybody's page. You could target your demographic. Let me let me ask situation. you, check. Have you ever uh found like a new artist that you didn't know about through like an ad or some shit like that? Yes. And you like, yeah, I have too. Well, the, the, so me personally, I see it more done by bigger artists, songs that I might not have heard. Right, right. But I feel like. Have you ever found a new artist though off of one, off of that? Yes, um, right. and, and it was uh I don't like I don't know how fairly new he was. I can't even think of his name right now, but uh, damn, that's gonna bother me. But he had the video where he was a big per uh, a version of himself, and he had a uh, and he was rapping on his own shoulder, and that mm. was all over my Instagram stories. Right. So like so with like and that's how you get on like that sponsored like you know how like you're watching like random Instagram stories and you like you come yeah every like, other one's a fucking a, sponsor a ad or or whatever so you might as well get on there so that's what we, that's what he's there. saying uh so it was crazy I found I found that's this my one gym for the day I found this one artist by watching um you know when you search for shit like it like pops up in your search bar all the time mm -hmm. and stuff so I guess I was searching for like UFC videos or something and like and um <clears throat> I'm in there looking up. Look, uh, looking at a video, right, of somebody getting knocked out or something in the UFC. Mm -hmm. And the song that was playing while the dude was getting knocked out was dope. And I'm like, yo, who is that? You know what I'm saying? So they put it in the credits of the of the knockout, you okay. know what I mean? And right. uh, I looked him up. He's pretty big, and he seems like he's independent too. So then, like, I'm looking up his his YouTube and stuff, and he's got, he's got mad views. And, like, the first comment... Um, in the comment section on YouTube is who else came here because of an ad. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So the right. dude's doing his thing. Doing his thing. You know. Uh, also, I want to. Uh, so, uh, and if people fuck with your music, like it could be like me and 
and go look that shit up. You know? Yeah, or, like like especially if you got a. First of all, you can't do none of this if you don't got a catchy visual. So let's get that or a out catchy way. song, or because I didn't see his visuals. Like you could, you go, you know. Well, the thing is, if you got enough money, you can force a song on me, and that's the thing about it. Uh, you know. I'm going to just give y'all a little story behind me. I haven't even told nobody, but I'm running this company called Low Key. I guess it's not Low Key anymore. But uh, with that being said, uh, I was surprised. Like I'm, I'm in my first, um, and shout out to my man, Corey Conestra. He kind of put gave me the blueprint. Oh, so what, what's, what is that? Uh, so Come on, shout your shit out, Chat. Come I, on, stop I, being. I, I wanted to be a, a secret I've, owner. Do you want <laughs> to be secret or you want to promote it? No, like, I don't want to promote it. I just uh, want to say, I, so I do, I, 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 Currently own a company that sells for women. All right, that's cool. Simple that's as that. Bad. That's um, dope. Called, so, so if y'all do want to type it in, yeah. Um, so if you fellas want to get your ladies something or um, ladies watching, lady check but it out. What surprised me is uh, when I ran fake. Like, so I don't tell y'all nothing without trying it myself. I'm not a rapper, so I don't. I'm not really. Trying driven, to promote your trying music, trying to promote my music or whatever the situation may be. But marketing but, is marketing. At but the end I, of the day. you know, I, when I so what I want y'all to do is what I do. What I do is when I hear something, oh, hold up, I could do this, I could do that. All right, let me go check it out. It, at least if I dibble and dabble in it, because uh, I'd rather be a, uh, uh, you know, I I rather have information about a lot of things than have information about nothing. Uh, so with that being said, I I made my own. Uh, Website. I made my own Facebook page for this, and then I ran some ads behind it. And within three days, I got fourteen sales on my store. Now, prior to running ads, I got no sales, no visits, no nothing. Nobody even knew it was a, uh, an account. And pr- and in the three days that I ran ads, I showed it to about a hundred thousand people. It cost me about four hundred bucks, and I got fourteen sales. So and probably four- one sale paid for them ads, probably or some shit. Or yeah, a couple. Uh, a about, about eight sales paid for the ad, and okay. I got six sales that so uh, you profited. Yeah, yeah, so I profited. That's but dope. That, but forget that. The part that was crazy to me is I actually got sales. Right. Uh, right. And like I said, uh, it, just it's, off a new company. It, it's, and it's, it's, I don't know if you guys will be able to see this though, but this is actually an addicting thing. When you look at this, and it's literally running live, and you're sleeping, and you wake up, you got three more sales that you got to fulfill, or. 20,000 more listens or whatever the case may be from running your ads on Facebook or whatever the case may be. And I just want to, another gym, Instagram ad is a lot different than getting into the ad manager on Facebook. So let's not get that confused. I see somebody, oh, matter of fact, I'm going to shout him out. Uh, my man Half Breed been killing the killing the uh ads. I yo, I yeah, see shout all out Half shit. Breed. Shout that's out Half guy. Breed, bro. That's sure. our guy. He been killing it. My man, you doing your thing? I see all his shit on the ads. I see his shit on his page. I like his shit. I fuck with it. What he got going on? Sure. Um, but I also want to let everybody know that it's different from running a post on Instagram when you go to promote your post. Then actually setting up a Facebook page right. and running it through the there. You run a whole ad campaign. You can run a whole campaign. Right. And then you could put That's the real you way. You could put it. you you can allocate money to where it is your, your shit sits on Google, where your shit sits on And I think I think uh, I think uh, YouTube Instagram. has has one too. It has, uh, YouTube has a similar yeah. similar uh, 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 um, platform where you could do it as Facebook. So f- for all you artists out there, if you're not promoting your shit through ads at this point, I don't know where it'll be in the next six months or who knows. The and game you know, changes. You know, but if you're not doing that right now, you should because it's like, what's your goal if you're not doing that? If you ain't got like yeah, fucking I mean, a million people on your shit already and you're yeah. not, you know what I'm saying? Unless you, you got like do an Instagram with like a million people, even at that point, right. you should still be doing it. St- I'm mean, sure, yo. A lot of artists are. Right. I seen, I seen Wiz Khalifa ad the other day. Yeah. You know so what I'm did saying? I like, actually selling a car or something like right, that. Right. Yeah, he I seen on that it. The other day. Yeah. I mean, we both see it. So <laughs> he's that, targeting that us. Much, he's targeting us. So that tells you how much money he spent behind him ad to target us. Right. And that's basically what the labels do that. That's how they push an artist. But they I'm not put money lie behind to you. It. it is a lot of strategy involved, and you got to do a lot of homework to get your conversions, to get your rate. You got to do your homework, okay? Because, like I said, boosting your post on Instagram is a lot different than running a campaign on Facebook ads, which shows it everywhere, 
okay? You got to figure out your target audience, figure out this, figure out how, your marketing funnel. These are all key words to get your conversions. Uh, and that's either, that's, that's, that's either here nor there. But um, so that's my gym for the day. You know, Facebook ads running the world right now. Just wanted to give that out there. Hey, straight up, uh, man. If you're an artist or if, if you're an entrepreneur trying to sell something. Right. Simple boom. as that. That's, that's a way to do it. So, oh, with, with I, that being said, I can poly off of that if you want, because I got a well, question for you. Let's shoot a shot to uh, let's shoot a shot to run a Facebook ad. Yeah, yeah, shoot, shoot your yeah, shot. shoot your shot. This, I have a feeling this is gonna be hard to get through, bro. You picked it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Dwayne Johnson would be drinking this shit this quick. What you think? He be putting this shit in on his pancakes and everything. That ain't really my my cup of tea, but I'm a. I'm a, I'm a What's your I'm cup a, of tea, Chuck? Henny. <laughs> Henny rock. Henny, Henny We've rock. done that. We've done that. We've done that. Shoot your shot. Shoot your shot. I usually mix it. It's, it's a lot different. Uh, straight up, <laughs> that's for sure. So yeah, I had a question that I could that we could poly off of that with. I'm, I'm what do you think? Um, like, what do you think it takes for an artist to break through right now? Money, like to get into the game, like to get into the game. Bully your way in with money. So, so through the ads and like through the ads, image, uh, a lot money of shit, and well, viral shit. Well, hold up, let's rewind. It all starts with learning how to work the internet. Um, I actually seen something that was very interesting. That's that's a great point right there. Um, work the internet. It it was very very interesting. Method Man was on an interview. Yo, and look what my shit said. He said, uh, he said, <laughs> well, uh, I should say work the internet. <laughs> he said, um, I don't know how these new artists are getting money. I don't understand the internet. Method Man said that. Method Man said that. And Method Man got money in the game, big time. Uh, off he, movies well, and the everything. the weird part about it is, I guess. And I don't know days, how they're making money either. To well, be the honest. weird part about it is, it seems like now I didn't watch the full interview. I just seen this clip. Right, right, right. Um, about a minute, two minute long clip. Uh, but it seems like they weren't making as much money as these new artists are making back then. Oh, the rap, yeah, well, rap the con that's the well, because because he was like, he said something to the fact where he only flew like eight private jets in his life. Method man, method man. Mm. And he was, and I, I like don't don't quote me on that. I don't know if that was his exact quote, but he was like, "Yo, I don't know how these guys are flying private jets. They're like 20, 20 30 grand a piece. I used to have to save my marketing budget and my my budget to even fly commercial. Yeah, see, to, back, back then it was my, different. I though. had to save my budget to get mm -hmm. a driver. I think it was a lot more shady back then too, because it was physical copies. So the money was coming in. From a different, from the label's standpoint, like they were collecting that shit. So is there more? Money? I don't know. So, but. so I guess the bigger question is: Is there more money in the game now than then? I mean, now it's like you can get your shit to the masses by yourself. And but we just talked about that. But are you gonna, are you gonna get it to that level of Method Man? Probably not. If by yourself, just by your lonesome, probably not. Right. But um, even with a label though, you could get on a label, and if if. I, you're not doing nothing special. You're not gonna get out there like. I guess my next question is this: What? Uh, how can I explain this? So, what is the level of Method Man nowadays? Because there's a lot of big rappers. There's a lot of there's a lot of big rappers. Like yeah. for example, NBA Young Boy just got locked up. I think Method Man's at the point where he's not relying on rap to make his money. Well, like, well, well. I don't want to say Method Man because he's like a legacy act. Yeah, yeah. And he uh, does movies. Like, how yeah, high like is classic? Movie, like he's really? like a legacy act. But I mean like a guy like that was big maybe in the 90s. And I think, a, like, okay. Let's just say a middle-of-the-road rapper I think is making more money now than a middle-of-the-road rapper was making in the early 2000s or the late 90s. I think. I'm not exactly well, sure. Yeah, because, like... It, well, and it's, it's all a because lot easier it's a lot to listen to somebody money. now. Like before, you had to go to Fye or the Wall. If you remember the Wall, but or, I feel like that was more money though. 
but you had to go there to buy that shit, or you would just hear it on the radio or, or on TRL figure, and all that shit. With that same ideology, if you if if uh, if Fifty Cent sells ten million records at ten dollars a piece, hard copy, not not oh uh, one point oh. Uh, 1,600 copies equals a sell and not none of that. I just think it's a whole different landscape now to look at it like that because, like, but, but middle of the road, who's a middle of the road rapper? Russ? Because no, Russ middle is of platinum. The road. No, no, no. Well, what but he's I, not mainstream. We're not talking about mainstream. that. I'm talking about the best of the middle of the road. I mean, like, when I, I was talking about NBA Youngboy in particular. Yeah, like, well, he's lit. But NBA Youngboy, I... I don't know if I should consider him a middle of the road rapper because I don't he's think the he third. Is. He's bigger he's, than that, just like Russ is. But, right, so who's a middle of the road rapper? I mean, you got a lot of these dudes. They come up with one hit and then they disappear, or they just kind of the they just kind of float. You know, right. like your but like, anyway, like your little techas and your like. Um, no, those are new guys. New is different than the middle of the road. A middle of the road, I would say at this point, is like a little pump. Like, yeah, uh, people like that. Yeah, yeah, but as I'm saying, he had one couple big records and kind of just is coasting now. But but how much money do you think he got? And I don't like the pocket watch too crazy, but he got I think he got a lot more money. I mean I if you he, if you look on his gram, he rich as shit. Exactly. <laughs> and that's what Method Man's point right, was. Right. How right. the hell yeah. are you getting this much money? They spending some of, is it advanced money? I don't or maybe they selling shit. I don't well, know, bro. Well, well, I know he endorsed Trump and he got some bread for that shit. You gotta think. They yeah, probably paid, bro. They probably paid for that these shit. These guys like and, and and Method Man really put it in perspective for me. Like, these guys got 10 Lambos, five Lambos, yeah, that's, five cars that's that bread. cost, cost two, 20, uh, uh, 250000 But 10 you think, cars. But at the same that. time, they, was, yeah. they didn't have none of that. But if you, if you, but they're, if they're buying them Lambos, they're retarded. But if, if they're leasing them, it's a little bit cheaper. But still, I, I but still, it's a lot. That's a lot, bro. Wow. That's like Yachty said his bills are fifty two, gr- fifty thousand a month. Yeah, that's Something crazy. Like that. So that means, uh, listen, that's a lifestyle. And that's a middle of the road rapper. At this point, you know I, he hasn't. But he's bigger. He's a. He's a. He's trying to become a legacy. Yet. Yeah, I mean, look, I give Lil Yachty his props because he definitely had some big songs, and you know he did a lot of shit outside of the, outside of music. But regardless yeah. of that. I just said I just said that. I don't say, think I, that's what I'm saying. Maybe these guys aren't making money strictly just off the music. Uh, like for example, P and B Rock just said uh, on Instagram. I don't know why I signed to a label. Uh, you know, I don't really make no money for my label. But you got you got to think though. Now at this point, like, all right, say Lil Yachty. Um, Instagram's a but hell. I'm of, always for signing to a label. Don't but IG's a hell of like a a way to make money because like say say a rapper. Say Yachty knows somebody and they want to pay him to post something for him. That's a little bag right there. Or to even come out to his party low key without, you know, whatever. Like he could make his money that way, you know. For sure. A, a bar mitzvah performance. These people will pay you like a million dollars to come out and do that shit. If that's your son's favorite or daughter's favorite I, I, rapper. I, I completely get it. Uh, yeah. So I don't know. I don't know how they do it, but it's so, definitely a different landscape now than when Method Man was yeah was popping. Wait, there, but the weird part about it to me though was that he really couldn't understand. Yeah. How to and make he's it so been, much And money. he was deep in the game. And like, he's deep in the game and if it had every facet of the, of, yeah, of he's, the game. And, yeah, Even he's, movies. He's, he's one of the just best. Like, too. I don't understand how they're making so much money. I didn't did movies. I didn't did this, and I just can't. Put the finances together to figure this out. I mean, you never know, man. A lot of shit is half of what you see, and none of or whatever. And, half and that's of, what the other guy was saying. Like, and you may, you know, it's yeah, like, like you know, like you, know, you, you could, got apps now to the the, the the charter a jet for like five bands, right? Or you could you act like, like you're getting on a jet and you not. Like I swear, <laughs> yo, they they're doing it, bro. Like yeah, yo, the no the gram is a hell of a facade, bro. With a lot of for these people, sure, bro, because sure. I still haven't mastered the gram yet. Yeah, I, me either. I, I'm on there, but that's my I'm main still thing. Still trying to master the gram. Who knows? I mean, I feel hey. like you gotta do you gotta do skits and shit like that. I gotta like walk in the jewelry. You store just gotta, gotta, gotta have content. You gotta have content. Content. At the end on of the day, you gotta content. want pe- people. Gotta want to come look at your shit. You know, um, no matter but, what. And, uh, and one way they can come look at your shit is if you flo- riding in Lambos and fucking yeah. wearing Rollies and chains and, and that's how everybody flexing. Did. Yeah, yeah. Right, that's how everybody do it. But so, maybe they don't have it like that. For that, real quick, give me two or three new upcoming artists 
that you're fuck with right now, whether they be for the studio or young in general? That's a good question, because that was my question for you. Um, I mean, the kids that's coming here, of course, I fuck with everybody. Um, the people in the game right now that's kind of making noise, I fuck with uh, Stunna Gambino. He's Never hard. Heard of him. He he's like one of them young boy auto tune singing bulls that are tough, bro. He's tough. Okay. Um, I I really like that song by the kid. Um, she's a runner. She's a track star. You ever heard that? No. It's a big TikTok, John. Okay. Look that I, shit. I ain't up. heavy on the ticky. Nah. I yeah. ain't heavy on the ticky. He turned into Method Man, dog. Oh, no, 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 <laughs> I, I, no. I fuck with the ticky talk. Don't get it fucked nah. up. But I fuck. Nah. With no the disrespect to Meth either. Nah. He's a yeah, goat. yeah, yeah. He's a legend for sure. Uh, but uh, I fuck with the TikTok. See, I, 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 so I can name a couple. Like I fuck, with, I fuck with Coyla Ray heavy. Okay, I heard I heard of that person. Uh, Coyla Ray for sure. She's fire. Um, Pooh Shicey's making noise. Oh, Pooh's my guy. I see. I knew. Pooh see, is see, my check, guy. Check into them rapper rapper. Yeah, I, yeah, you know me. I need. <laughs> It, you know, I get it back in blood. <laughs> right. that's, that's how I, yeah, I fuck with Pooh I, I Pooh. fuck with Money Bag too right now. He's killing. Yeah, I'm with I'm with Pooh, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm heavy on the Pooh. You fuck with the Money Bag, John? I fuck with Money Bag. I fuck with uh, I, I, all them guys over there. But I all right, really wait, what's your three? I I had Stunna Gambino. No Are disrespect, but the, I'm a runner. I'm a track star. That shit's fire. I don't know his name, but that song is so hot. You I'm, just I'm gonna play one that for mine now. I'm 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 switching it up. Ah, <laughs> say that. Say first six first. I'm going with my young boy Trapid Tay out of Pittsburgh. Okay. Uh, Trapid Tay is the next up. I'm telling y'all now. He he is next. I, he got a different flow, a different vibe, a different look. Trapid Tay is next. I'm trying to tell y'all, and he comes out of my home city. Pittsburgh, that is Trap and Tay. Go follow him on Instagram at Trap and Tay. Neither here nor there. He's fire. That's number one on my list. I'm banging his shit everywhere. He got a different style to it. And I know he gonna blow. I just need to bring him in one good time and like, yo, this is what we need to do. As this, that, and the third. I'm waiting to tell him that. Neither here nor there. Uh, so Trap and Tay. Next, like I said. So we go with Pooh. What you going with Pooh? What what type of music uh, Trap and Tay make? Like, is it rap rap? So or is so it? this the thing, this the thing, this the thing right here. So if all right, the weird part about Tay is he is in a pocket that no one's in right now, and I mean that. See, like, that, no bullshit. That's how you get into the game, too. Like, like he he's, sure. use, he's using these real slow, like, trap beats, but he's in a pocket that is like... How'd you, fi- like, how'd hey, you, how'd find, you find that? How'd you find him? Uh, yo, he's in a different pocket. No, I'm, and, saying, and how, like, I'm saying, how'd you, fi- how'd you discover him? Damn, the weird part is, I don't even know how I discovered him. Mm. I really don't know. That's what I was wondering. I don't know if it was make... from an ad. Or I don't know where it was from. That's what I'm saying. Cause like, I honestly, yo, and it's crazy. I've been talking to him for a while, so I hope he hears this. I really don't know how I found Trap and Tech. Mm. I don't know if my uncle. When I went down there, my uncle was telling me like this dude is. Well, you know what? You know what's weird? How I find a lot of artists when people are sitting on that couch right there, or where where Jay's sitting, and they're on Instagram, and I hear a song, like, Damn, and I'm like. Here. Who's that? Right. I swear to God, bro. That's how I found like three hot ass rappers, like artists, rappers, right. whatever. Like just from that, from sit, from somebody playing it on their phone, and I'm I turn my head like, yo, who is that? And yeah. they're like, yeah, this so and so. I'm like, oh shit, I'm I'm looking him up on the side while I'm hitting record and shit. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I I guess. So trap and say that's your one. That's my one, and and that's really the only that I'm really fucking with right now from the new. But uh, if I had to go more, we're gonna go industry. Like I said, Pooh, I fuck Man. with him the long way. Uh, other than that, I want to give somebody young. Uh, uh, and I'm gonna go with my my young boy Zelly. Man, he doing this thing right now. He got a new song. Hopefully, I can give him a look. Uh, he got a new song out right now. A new video. He paid you know some good money for the video. So I'm gonna give Zelly his, his his little look. Yeah, shout and, out uh, Zelly, man. Shout, shout out Zelly. I, I want to shout out a lot of artists that come here too. It's just there's so many of y'all, and oh, you know, no, I no, love no, you no. all. That, that we, I, I completely understand. Yeah, I know a lot I, of if I name one, I gotta name 10, 10, 
but, my right hand man KO. He got a million songs. Right. I was like, Shiz, I, <laughs> everybody. Everybody. You know what I mean? you know, it's a million so. motherfuckers I could name, but yeah. uh, I'm only talking about people that are putting out videos right now. Um, yeah, and that's what I'm consistent. saying. Like, be consistent, and, uh, man. Be consistent. Number bro. one, even over Pooh, is my is Trap and Tech. I'm gonna check him out because I never heard of him. Please do. Yeah. Um, that's my guy. Uh, fuck with him a long way, and I'm not just saying that. I'm telling you, he got a different vibe, and I don't know. Like, there's not a lot of people that I and, and yo, hold on, this podcast. I'm like a fortune teller. Let me get it about. Can I get the music going, please? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what you go? What you about to say? I'm always ahead of the curve. You think he about to hit the game hard? Huh? Yeah, yeah, I'm always ahead Pittsburgh, of the curve. Pittsburgh got to come because I haven't heard nothing out of Pittsburgh since Wiz. Since on some, Mac, on some shit and Mac, Wiz and Mac, yeah, and Mac, yeah, and they're le- they're legends at this point. So, you know, Trap and Tate, we here, Tate, we here. <laughs> I got you, bro. Say you that. Next. Say that. But Say yeah, that. so that's that. Um, next question I got for you, John. What question you got for me? You got a question for me? If not, we can I, shoot I a can, shot. I can add, we can shoot a shot real quick. Um, Cause I got a question for you. But and now I'm gonna get into my industry shit. I'm done but with. Before this, you do that, shit. so let's shoot a shot, and I, I'm gonna just add on add on to what we were just talking about because I just want your opinion on who 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 who's on top right now in in the rap game. Who's on top? You want me? I'm Cause, answer Because I feel like the pandemic slowed a lot of shit up. Like, as far as, like, we ain't hear, we ain't hear Drake drop. drop it only slowed yet. up people that ain't popping. Or didn't it? It ain't slow up. Nobody that was popping. I heard a lot of new artists just emerge, though. Like, we were just talking about. I could have named a couple more. Young K.A., Too Rare. I can name I never Philly, you know what I'm saying? But there's a few like Pushaisi came out this year. You know what I'm saying? Um 40, 42 Doug 42 came out this Doug year. during the pandemic, King Von during the pandemic, RIP. Um you know what I I'm really saying? So like, people are emerging. See, see it's funny though. I feel like I yeah, I'm loving them niggas that can't that don't really speak English. <laughs> Yo, if you, I feel like if you <laughs> don't speak English right now, you from like the 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 opposite of the sixty third. <laughs> that shit is winning. <laughs> Yo, like forty two Doug. What was the other one, little baby? Uh, uh, uh like Vic. Look, my mom like Vic. Whoever that bull is. That's I'm, awesome. That's a deep South shit. What's man. his That's name? I can't shit. think his name right now. That's gonna bother me. But forty two Doug. Come in them and mm, eh, not get bears off. Uh, shorty called a body. I just call it Randy Boss. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I'm not sure, but you know what I'm talking about, though, right? Yeah, I definitely heard it. I, it's got to be one of them. One so of them. So, Forty Two Dogs, the boy that made that, but the other boy that made uh, uh, the one with little baby. I can't think of his name. That's gonna bother me. Yeah, or we'll maybe I'm out. off. But regardless, I, nah, situation. you probably right. I probably didn't don't don't know it that well. But, but yeah. who's on top though? You think right now? Because it's like it's like up in the air so almost. Who's like, one in the game? I mean, we know who the number ones are, but like who who got it right now? Like we know the baby had it for a while. The we know, baby? yeah, like we know little baby had it or might still be. He might be there. Like it's who? Drake and little baby. That's the only two people that. On the but team. like, but like, all right, we'll give them. We'll leave them. And the baby is a close third. Yeah, that's what you think. Yeah, because I don't, I don't know. I'm just asking you, so like, Drake, who's got it right now? Little baby got the streets. The baby is like, like who's doing a world tour? A world when, tour when the shit open up. All of them. You think little baby got the world tour yeah. by himself, like Easy. on his lonely? Easy. Okay. Easy. I know we know Drake. We know Drake waiting to drop that album. Easy. When shit open back up. Lil Baby got a world tour. And I, I'm gonna make a prediction he's gonna have a number one or number two coming out soon as he drops. Yeah, Lil Baby, album. he 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 come with them. He come and with And they snubbed them on the Grammys too. We'll I think I think I think um him and Drake might go on that tour together. You know how Drake always brings somebody. They should. Yeah. Uh like they got song, they got the songs together. Who is done? <laughs> huh? Are the Migos done? I, listen, <laughs> nah, we not, we not gonna knock. No, we're, we're not gonna knock nobody. 
right. Nah, all I don't right. think they're done, but you know, I like, that's, I, that's what I'm saying. The pandemic, I feel like, fucked a lot of shit up for a lot of people because they would have been Nikki on tour. Is Minaj done? Dude, she just had a baby, so. Or did she have the baby yet? No, but hold on. Here, all right, so I just wanted to say that to say what I don't like. This is what I don't like. That she did a song with 6 9 Fuck that. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you all looped me there. <laughs> no, no, but let's no, not no, go no, there. No, 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 but Why no, is she no, done, though? She's done. Uh, no, I'm not saying she's done, uh, but I'm telling you what I don't like. Oh, why? Right, what you don't like? How? All right, so I'm going to name three women. Uh, Cardi B, Megan Thee Stallion, and Nicki Minaj. Who do you think's the best? Honest opinion. My favorite? It's hard. I don't. I, don't, I can't the, listen to them. I like Cardi. Who do you think's the best? Cardi, the, the best rapper, probably Nicki, from from history. Okay. Um, I like Cardi's shit more recently than Nicki's shit, though. Like newer shit. All right. I say that to say Meg. I, I like Meg too, though. But, out of those three uh, women, there's only one person that only got a Grammy. Meg. Nicki. Nikki don't have a Grammy? No, Meg just got like three. You sure? I'm a hundred percent sure. Damn. Well Nikki got matter classes. Matter of fact, a thousand percent sure. Nikki got class. Uh which is weird. You sure about that? I'm don't even worry about it. I got this fact already mm. booked in. I'm gonna look it up just to just Please sure. do. Uh Cardi was the first woman rapper uh to really I don't kill. care though. The Grammys to me, like uh but uh Mega just got three. that shit is all bull. Nah, uh, yeah, she all nominees. Well, that don't I don't go by Grammys, bro. No, I only say that to say I only tell you what I don't like. Like, listen, I'd love to have a Grammy. That'd be a great accolade in my life. But like at the end of the day, I know that shit is the people that are judging that shit and all that. That's a whole different game. And you so, know, like I first like, of all, Meg. No disrespect to Meg. I love Meg. But this is all politics at this point. That's Beyonce, what I'm saying. It's Beyonce politics. K, she did a song with Beyonce. She gets three Grammys for it. Shedding me. Yeah, like I feel like Nicki should have had a Grammy, but yeah, that's crazy. Right. I ain't know She's that. She's the only woman without a Grammy out of those three. I feel like that's politics, bro. At the end of the day. Right. Um, Especially now, like the game. And Nicki is for sure the best out of those three. Yeah, like, but yeah. But I think as actually. Of pre- as of present, no. Actually. But Nikki, classic Actually, hold on, hold on, like, I'm, like I'm Nikki did. Nikki did. Cardi a lot of shit. is the best out of those three. Nah, Nikki's better, I think, because Cardi. Car- no, Cardi's the best out of those three. I'm gonna say that. That's my opinion. I mean, that's yet to be seen. Maybe, maybe. I think it's give seen her another already. five, uh, five well, years. Well, I think. Well, I think well, yeah. Well, well, let's go. I can't say that yet because Nikki got classics with Wayne and, and Young Money and all that shit, bro. Like Cardi got number one. Nikki don't got those either. That's politic and too, though. At the end of the day, um, I mean, and, yeah, and, but you're right though. And like, Cardi came up with that. You by can't herself. argue with a number one because number one. Cardi is number came one. up with that by herself. Nikki needed six nine to get up there. Yeah, now, but back when back Nikki then? was making, you know, what drummer bass, number four yeah, or five, super bass. I should have won a Grammy if you ask me. Super bass, no. um, starships, all that shit. That's like that's like. But pop when major I look back on shit. Nicki Minaj's career, that's, that shit's soft as a cotton swab. <laughs> but you think so? You but I don't know. I guess we 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 don't get into the writing and shit. But I know Cardi really. But now, oh no 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 now 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 Nicki that's a really do her shit. If, if you know I I you know if we're talking about writing our own raps, I don't consider that. I don't care about none of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I, I'm just. I don't either. Be I honest. Don't care about I, that. I, I, hot song is a hot song. But if hot you ask me, if you ask me, Super Bass is hotter than any song I've heard out of any three women that we just named. So you think Super Bass is hotter than I don't fuck with you, uh, boss? I don't, I yeah, don't, I do. It's a big. It's a bigger record. If you ask me, well, yeah, maybe man, not a bigger. Man, maybe not a bigger man, record. Man, man, man. Different time. Nah, I'm out. Like, on cause you think about it, like I'm out on Super Bass. Uh, well, no, I, I remember DJing for kids and shit, playing that shit, like, at at middle schools and shit when I was DJing and shit. And, like... Now, imagine what you would if you were still DJing when Cardi yeah, was... Yeah, I wasn't, was so... I, I guess Bodak Yellow w- could have been played, but... The only thing about Bodak Yellow... It's hard Yellow, to play that at a middle school, though, like, you know what I mean? Like... No, but you would have played it and the that clean, shit would have yeah. went. Nah, you right. 
I mean, it hey, went. Maybe <laughs> preference. I don't know. Bodak Yellow to me, like I just so the, so the, I think Super Bass is way more creative, artistically song than than Bodak Yellow. I just Yellow. think like it's way more like it's more musical and more. And I don't want to be like, against Nicki because that's not my argument. My argument is Nicki should have a girl. No, I, but no, but hear me out though. I feel you though. Grand, like that's a good argument. No, though. no, no. But hear hear me out though. The there's politics, so I'm gonna go with that. But the reason why Nikki probably don't got a Grammy is because she's going far. Like for example, Super Bass, you're going far away from you to try to do that, to try to be number yeah, one. And at that time, to try to be. I I, I don't know great. the history, but at that time there was a lot of big records with that record. Right, like yeah, you're I mean. trying to be great. You're trying to be pop. See, Cardi was able to do it effortlessly. Bodak Yellow is a pop song effortlessly. Well, yeah, and, it shouldn't and, and even Bodak be. Yellow came from the mud, so and it came I from give her Kodak all Black, black. So let's let's not knock well, that, that. Not only that, like she came up independently with that. Well, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. she was she was around, but she didn't break through until that yeah. came out. Yeah, that that was her. And that was her I'll first. give that to her because that's you know Nicki came up through Wayne and shit. Yeah. Like when she really really and got and if anybody should have a Grammy, it should be Nicki because she had the platform. Yeah, I really think it. Nicki should have a Grammy. Like if you look back on on what the competition is now, I think she's. So right I just up said, there. like you know, I love Nicki Minaj. Um, I and it should, at this point, it's just like, oh, you lost the game. I don't know how we deviated here, but no, it's, I don't know how we got here neither. But um, <laughs> it's a great. Great, great conversation. No, no, it's for sure, definitely. It's, it's been dope. On my mind. It's dope. It's a, it's a. I didn't know Nikki didn't have a Grammy. That's crazy. I've, I've been watching that woman race because very hard. Honestly, to me, like maybe it's our, our era, but like that Young Money era, like is so, like for everybody that likes Drake now and shit, like. But do you look at that Young Money era for Nicki Minaj? Yeah, because like Bedrock and fucking is what's, she on Bedrock? What's Nicki Minaj verse on there? Like Roger that. Uh, is she? I don't know if she's on Bed Rock. I so think you she. Don't even remember. Yeah, she is on Bed Rock. You don't but, remember Nicki Minaj's verse? Yeah, I do, bro. All that that whole era was crazy. You got the knockout. Remember the knockout? All that shit, no. bro. Yeah, you do. If I play, I it, remember you know. Roma's Revenge. Yeah, that, that's part of that era too. I remember. Bro. Uh, that's probably not Grammy worthy. I am worthy, the one but... with the queen. Yes, I'm not lucky. I'm blessed. Yes, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm can't be. Nah, Nikki got your love. She got a lot of shit. But see, bro. She, she got uh. But was she forced it? Moment she for that? life. That's what I'm talking about. That's a moment hit. For life. That's, that's a hit, song. bro. I'm not a hit. Probably not that's a Grammy, a but cut. that's a Drake record too. Once again, that is a Drake record. But she should. She should. I th- I just think the reason she don't have, she a, Grammy have a Grammy is because when all that shit went down, it was it was other people in the game that was like. But they got best female Like, like she's playing against fucking Barry Bonds and you know but what I'm she's saying? Not. Like who the best female artist back then? She's losing. Probably Beyonce or somebody, bro. Yeah, like, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like no yo, she's playing against you know what I mean? So I that's yeah, why why no she didn't bullshit. get it, you know? But we uh, we would have to go back and look. But but it's I think that Nikki definitely deserves a Grammy, for sure. Like Especially Such a shot that Nikki getting a Grammy. Yeah. Nikki, I, we but love But she ain't going to get one now, I don't think, it's unless she comes back you, crazy. You got to come back, you. like, without getting behind 6 9 probably Nick, or something. Well, here's Shoot the deal. Shot. Another reason I'm saying this to you, I love you, Nick. I want you to win. Yeah, no, I Nick, want you to come back and get a Grammy. Bro, when I used to DJ, it like, it was a lot but of Nikki deal, records in rotation. I don't bro. like That's all how I you're know. playing this old person thing and you're hating on the new artists because when Cardi tried to come in, you hate it on her. I ain't really like that, to be honest with you. But here's the deal. I think you're better than all three of them, or, or all two of them, with however many women you got in competition, if you want to include yeah, Nikki got all the there, tools bro. to make a record, bro, like a um, hot record, too, because she's been there. Oh, she was on the joint with Trey. Bum, 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 bum. Mr. Steel Girl. That's a hit, bro. She, Nikki's better on features than she is. In it don't matter. Record. You can still win a Grammy off a of feature. Like, yeah. Um, down in the DM. Another good one, good a good feature. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Nikki on a lot of good records, bro. That's all I know. Like better, more records than I can speak for Cardi and uh, Meg. Well, you know Cardi's I mean? on a lot Cardi, of records, though. I mean, oh, not wow. as much as Nikki, though. But you're talking over a ten year career. Like I said, I like career. Cardi. I like Cardi presently the most because, like, Cardi is the best. I'm gonna say this now, and I said this on Twitter f- two years ago. <laughs> Cardi is the best female rapper ever to lie. But I feel like Meg, Hold on, let Meg me, could pass Let me say this. 
loudly on the podcast. Cardi B is the best female rapper to ever live. But you know Let's what's dope? You know what's dope is that and it's only because her ability to make hits. You know what's smart though is that her and uh, Meg got together on a song. Yeah, it's not even that's that though. G- that's See, smart. Here's the deal. Okay. Instead Cardi of, B instead got of that, being against each Cardi other, Cardi B got that Nas thing to her. And what I mean by that is, I don't know about all that. No, what I mean Nas by that is, is a pen. And she got a pen, but she don't. She don't pen it though. Who? Car? Uh, Nikki? Cardi? No, I said Nikki. Got no, you that. said Cardi. No, Nikki got oh, that Nikki, Nas yeah. thing to her. Oh, you said Cardi. I thought. No, Nikki got that Nas right. thing to her, right. where 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 she won't like. She's too penmanship instead yeah, of taking yeah. advice. Right, right, right. I don't care. Nikki, have Lil Wayne write this part. Drake, nah, I thought you were part. definitely saying Cardi though. So no, I'm no Cardi is the best female rapper as of to date. Only person I could argue with maybe is Lauren Hill, and I'm gonna consider yeah. her a rapper. Well, yeah, I mean. All this shit is opinionated at the end of the day. First so, of all, you know. she's better than Little Kim, and she's better than Foxy <laughs> Brown, and she's better than fucking. Yeah, I mean, we, we, yeah. And that's, I, the, I, that's my yeah. personal opinion. And she's still going. Um, WAP is number one. Bodak Yellow is number one. Fucking, she can keep going down the list. Up is number one at the moment. I like, I really, when I, when, what really made me like Cardi was that money. Get to the money. Oh yeah, that's like, that that's shit. like a number five record. Yeah, and that's but still I like top that record. Ten. Everything she drops is top ten. She's like a Drake when it comes to that single shit. Yeah, yeah. And on the last album when she was with that Spanish dude, I forget what that record was. Who? I got this shit that looked like socks. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jay I forgot or, about that record. That's yeah, a good like, record. What? That is that's probably that's a great record. Right, you know what I'm sure. saying? Like yeah, what? That's a good record. She's number that's one, a, like listen. she's top five, like all like like that's the thing about Cardi. That, that's, what what did Cardi get a Grammy for? Best oh, female? Yo. Uh but, like best record, record of the year or something? Record of the year, I think. Yeah. But that's a big that's a big, But that's she kind of probably big. had the record of the see, year at and, that and point. And not only that. And it's like B not dropping and like, you but, know, she but, but she was on also, top. that's like one of the biggest Grammys. Yeah, yeah. Nah, for sure. No, no discredit. And I'm not even sure that's what it is, so don't discredit me. Yeah, but it, sure, it was either best know. female artist or best album. Or best it was album. Some, it was some, it was either one, one all that is good money. <laughs> all <laughs> nah. that is good money, not young money. <laughs> Facts. No, nah, that's for sure. Nah, that's good yeah. conversation though. You yeah. know, it's all opinionated I like at the end Eve of the day. Too, but you know, hey, he, yeah, yeah, all the female artists, man. Like, sh- shout out to Pretty Tsunami too. She's a she's upcoming. Uh, shout from out to fucking uh, what's the girl's name? Oh my god, that's gonna bother me now. She reminds me of Missy Elliott, and she's the best pen in Philadelphia right now. Oh, Tierra? Tierra Wack. Yeah, Tierra Wack, yeah. Oh, sure. my God. That girl is Tierra Wack, fire. fire. Shout out to Zuki, too. Zuki's another one. Uh, Zuki, she's, she's shout out to set. Zuki. I've, seen, I've yeah. seen her perform. I fuck with Zuki's her. Zuki's fire. I fuck with Zuki. Zuki, yeah. Next up type shit. Tierra Wack, bro. Tierra Wack, She fire. said, um, I'm... I'm a poet when I go ready. Uh, nah. She's different. <laughs> she's Tierra going is a in. she is a rapper, rapper, yo, like for real. I'm like, yo, now she killed that. I know exactly what you're talking about. I yeah. always seen that shit once, and I she know said, exactly I'm a what you're talking stepper, about. Big stepper, like twelve inch. <laughs> yo, that's like can she's seasoned. You know like, what I'm saying? She is polished. But like she was, she was a different name before. On the come up show and all that. I don't shit. know what the fuck she was, but I, I today, know. she was under ant. She is she was under ant. Shit. Yeah, but she yeah, she, <laughs> she is she polished and her flow. Shout out to Tierra and, Wack and the whole team. Because whatever the team is doing, the team different. is killing it. Everybody's killing it over there. Uh now, once again, you know, it always comes to making hits. You know, that's yeah. where we come back to. You know, Nicki Minaj is a great rapper. Yeah, uh, but it is Tierra gonna have her hit though because she's in the right. I'm down lane. with Tierra having her hit, and I full support Tierra. Hey. I am fully in support of Tierra Wack because she said I'm a big stepper, like six feet or some shit yeah, like that. Kill, that, she, shit kill, is... hey, that freestyle was crazy. Let's shoot her a shot to Tierra. Yo, she... Let's shoot her a shot to all the female artists. Oh like, yeah, keep all the female. It, keep it pushing, all right. Keep it pushing. Keep it pushing. Shoot your shot. Hey. 
All right, next question. <coughs> I know we going on an hour already, but hold yeah, on. Yeah, that's cool. I got a question. Go ahead. What's up with that? How do you feel about that Drake three piece? Well, that now that I've listened in depth and a little help from you, because that fucking lemon pepper boy. Oh woo. my god! God damn! Oh, yo, Drake, yo, if if God. nobody rapping out here, Drake is fucking rapping out here because, bro, listen, listen, Drake, yo, you fucking murdered that shit, bro. Hold on. Like, I'm here to say it without singing, without I'm tune. here to say it. Drake is the best rapper <laughs> to ever live. Oh, uh, hold on. Nah, you draw. <laughs> he draw. I mean, we ain't go I there. He tripping. To say it. Hold up. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Stop. Damn. Hold on. Stop the bullshit. All right. Now, hold on. Hold Listen, on. Listen, Drake, all the props, but come on. We talking about Hove? All right. Hold on. But we talking out. about. I'm a whole fan. Right. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, Don't I'm say so far ahead of my team. Why got to be o- o- O-D? Hold this on, hold on, hold guy on, hold is O-D. On. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. Let me keep it a bucket of quarter. Let me tell you why. Okay? <laughs> Let me tell you why. I, I, I oligooped you the whole time to, to, to tell you this. The reason why Drake is the best is because you were just about to say... If anybody's rapping, he's rapping. Yeah, he's rapping. I get that to him. But who got the most hits? I mean, it's yet to be seen, bro. Drake. It's not even, It's not yet to be seen. He got more hits than the Beatles. Nobody's going to catch that. It's not even a question. Drake got the most hits, but Eddie's really rapping when he wants to. I, I sold a million records like a million times. No. <laughs> no. I love Jay Z. Look, look. Jay Z made me fall in love with rap. Little Wayne showed me I could. But do you rap. really think that Drake? All right, Drake got big, big records though, right? He got a lot of Drake big records. Drake is better than Jay Z for this simple but reason. Like, Drake- Hove, Hove records. Like, I, like, listen. Give Drake another ten. He gonna be there. Why do I got another ten? Because. Drake go first... back to '96, bro. Like we in 2020. I'm about to tell you. I'm Drake tell started you why. in what? I'm like tell you why. What, what, what year did Drake probably? Fuck get... all that. 2010. But here's all the right. deal. So we had, we had 11 years, bro. Hove been in the game since '96 with hits. But I'm Can I tell live? You why? Like everything, bro. Dead Prezies, all that shit, bro. That shit is like it goes way back. That's great. So like, give Drake another 10, bro. And then we can say that. We I'm, can't say that yet. I can't. And Drake, he going to be there, though. He Like, he already figured it out. He got all that. All right, but hear, hear me out. We get we take Jay-Z's first 10. And we take Drake's first 10. Albums or songs or what? Career. Years? Years. Okay. We don't want to do hits because Jay-Z only got a few of those. Bruh. <laughs> nah. Nah. I mean, maybe according to Billboard, but like, bro, at the end of the day, Three like, can different. I get a what, what? Like, bro, that that type shit is like, like, bro. I'm including that in Jay-Z shit. Yeah, of course. I'm including that. Money, cash, like all that shit, bro. That I'm might not. That, and I'm even going as far as including all about the Benjamins for a dude like Jay-Z. But here's he the not deal. On he not on that. Yes, he is. Or with Biggie and Diddy and now? No, with fucking J- Jermaine Dupree and fucking Jay Z. Oh, all right, all right. Well, even that, bro. Like, Hove got, bro. Hove got big pimping. Hove got, he got a lot of shit, when bro. When you think of Hove, you think Different. of big. Hold on. When you think of Hove, you think of big pimping. That's no, it. Bullshit. <laughs> when it comes to hits. No, <laughs> come on, who bro. Do you, who do you think? What do you think of? I think oh. of every song from fucking. Reasonable doubt up until Magna Carta. Like, real shit. Black album, fucking all, all right. everything, bro. The black album, every all song right. is a smash, bro. Like, all right. come on, bro. Even, uh. Now, hold on, hold on. Let me just preface this. But, like, even saying. the Dynasty, the blue, all the blueprint, like, uh, the blueprints, me, you even fuck look, with the blueprints. So, I do, I fuck with Jay-Z. But, like, do you fuck with fuck Drake with as much as you fuck with the blueprints? No. Right. But. Because. No, here's the deal. Here's the deal. <laughs> but 
But no, like, no, 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 no. Let me like, we can go you. hit for hit, but like, we can go no, error for error type shit. We don't want to do hit for hit because Drake will blow that out by a landslide. No, not necessarily because that's a fact. Drake has the more error. It's an error thing. It's an error thing, though. It's not an error thing. Drake could have came out in fucking. The same time that Jay Z came out, and no disrespect to Drake, because Drake can sing he's there. and rap. Jay Z, like I said, Lemon thing. Pepper, that motherfucker peppered that shit for real. Listen, here's the deal. Here's the absolute deal. Jay Z is the best. All right, so like we're looking at like basketball. <laughs> Steph Curry is the best shooter to ever live. But that don't take nothing away from Michael Jordan that got the all around six rings and package and this and that but, and the third. But, but but you're talking about Curry is like Hove and then Damian Lillard is Drake. No. Type shit. No. Steph Curry if, if, <laughs> if you're gonna say modern era, Steph Curry is like Jay Z and fucking <laughs> LeBron right, that's is what like, I just said. Yeah, Steph Curry's like Jay Z and LeBron is like fucking Drake. The <laughs> Shit, yeah. He's doing this, getting rings. He's fucking. How can you say that when school? Hove is on the Billies? Like now, if we're talking Monday. So, so that's what I'm uh, saying. In ten years, Drake right. is gonna be there. Uh, he, right. he will. Hold on, hold on. But you can't them. give it to him yet. Why can't I? That's like talking about LeBron was but the I'm best not, five I'm years ago. Music. And then and Jordan was talking still. about music. I'm only talking about music. See, here's the deal. Here's yeah, the but deal. it's still the same shit. Are bro. we gonna talk accolades or what are we gonna talk? What, uh, oh, uh, we can talk opinions? I'm cool with that. It's not accolades. It's more I think so... Jay-Z, it's more so... Uh, listen, listen. Here's the deal. <laughs> Jay-Z raps what I like to hear. I like to hear... Uh, Isis, life just ending on that rainy day. When I got the news, the boy body could be viewed down at the city board, open the drawer, saw him nude. I like that. Right. That's but, Jay-Z. And right, but, and the, and well, the young well, kids I like... also like, like the hits shit. when it comes to... First name ever, last name greatest, like a sprained ankle boy I ain't done to play with. I like that too. So at the okay. end of the day, but that was when Drake first came into the game. So you can't you can't and label we're him. We're talking a- about a hit. Okay, <laughs> but that's it. Right, that's it. When so, you have Ye and Eminem on a record, it's guaranteed to be a hit off the rip. Let's not say Drake needs anybody to make a hit. He was the at, hook, but and yes, he has the at verse. this point. But he didn't back need it then. then. He didn't, and he he didn't. But he didn't he, need it then. He didn't, but back then that, that shit, song was a hit. If me it. and you were on it, Drake is the shit, bro. But he's LeBron five years ago. And what the best in the league? Yeah, he's LeBron five years ago, comparing him to Jordan type shit. All right, that's what I'm saying. If, if does that make I, sense? I, I completely agree. Here's the deal. I don't want to make this a Drake versus Jay Z thing because I like. Jay Z a lot. Like yeah, I it'll said, never, it'll never, on, hear me it'll out. never end. But I will right say, anyway, but. Drake is better than Jay Z because Jay Z said the line that makes Drake. Drake, Jay Z said, in order to make money, you gotta dumb down for your audience and double your dollars. They criticize me for it, but they all yell holla. Skill set, truth be told. I'd probably be Talib Kweli. That's what Jay-Z gave you the blueprint on how to be the best rapper. In those four bars. Okay? So with that being said, you got Drake now. Skill set, truth be told, he'd probably be Talib Kweli. Now, hold on, hold on. He dumbed down for his audience. He's he's killing the billboards. We already know that. Fuck all that. He already know that. Listen to this. What's that? Ka- um, Jay Z was the head of uh, what? Uh, Def Jam, right? We're not talking business. Are you want to talk business? So he brought Rihanna in the game. He brought Ye in the game. He brought all the state prop dudes in the game. Memphis Bleak. You got to give him credit for Dipset. I will never discredit Jay Z on business. So. Who's Drake brought into the game? Weekend. No. The Weekend left Drake on the first album. They all left Jay Z. Yeah, not before they were fucking who they were. Yay Drake's was yay before. Was so big though. Yay not, was yay before not, he left. Hope. That's the thing you're not. Yeah. I, I don't know if that's true. Yay but. was yay, bro. 
Ye was Ye on the the first two albums was with Ho, bro. Big Brother, like all that shit, bro. Drake Here's don't got no big, no little brother, no little bro. Here's the deal. You know what I'm saying? He the got, weekend. He ain't got no little bro. Once maybe, again, once again, maybe let's, one guy. Let's put this in I don't perspective. Know. Maybe one or the two. The weekend is bigger than anybody. Other the weekend than... is not under Drake, bro. He got his own situation, no, no, bro. No, no, he left Drake. So did Kanye. So he could grow. So did Kanye. After he was grown. Same After he was little, bro. Same thing with the weekend. Nah, you can't compare but that. The it's apples is... to oranges, bro. The... All right, all right, all right. So we got Kanye the weekend. Okay. All right, I got another one for <laughs> it's you. Not, it's I got not, another one for it's you. Not, I got another one. You for don't you. got none. I got another one Go for ahead. you. Go ahead. Party next door. Get the fuck out. <laughs> Who the fuck is Party that? Party next door <laughs> is I bigger. I say that. Party next door is better than everybody on state property. Bigger than the Memphis Bleak or Sieg or fucking Kanye West. What no, the fuck? hold on. We already knocked Kanye out the window. Nah, Kanye, Kanye is, is the weekend. Get the Kanye fuck out of here. Kanye is the weekend. We already X that out. We already X that out. Kanye, Kanye is what? the weekend or X out. So oh, that's, that's right. so Memphis Bleak wasn't bigger than... Then, it didn't fucking party next door? Fuck bigger. Who's better? Fucking Memphis Bleak. You got a fucking classic album, bro. What the fuck? You keep talking this classic album shit. And Seagull was way bigger than fucking party next door. You think so? Yeah. For sure, bro. All right. Okay. For sure, I'm going to give you that. Hypothetically. And he is, bro. But Party Next Door wrote Bitch Better Had That Money by Riotti, by Rihanna. He wrote so many. He wrote shit on Travis Scott uh, fucking record with Drake. Oh, we, we forgot about Rihanna. What? That's Def Jam, Jay-Z. That's Hove. No, no, no. Brought that's her not, out with no. the umbrella no, shit. No, 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 no. Do, that do your count. research. That, don't, that, that don't fucking count. counts, bro. That don't count. That's that's when Jay-Z is out the rap game. He's a fucking executive. Out the rap game, but he dropped, he dropped I don't know. He a retired album. album. Come on, man. A retired all album. Right, he was already all out the game. All right, all right. But hold on. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. I love Kanye. He's the richest black man ever hit America. Yeah, yo. Fuck, shout out to Ye. Fucking six billion now. What the fuck? The richest black man to ever touch America. I'm in on Kanye. That's crazy. So, I'm going to give Jay-Z the up just for that. Simple as that. And it really wasn't Jay-Z. It was Dame Dash. Right, but so we're not we, even going to so talk we, about on, that. So, you said... Uh, it was Dame Dash that signed time Kanye, out, time not out. Jay-Z. Matter of fact, Jay-Z didn't want Dame, uh, Kanye to rap. All right, so you, so no you said uh, Kanye and who equal out? The Weeknd. Musically. I'm only talking music. No, bro. No. All right. Yay wins that shit, bro. What are we going to go? What do you want to do? Accolades? Everything, bro. Hits. Wow. Like, everything. They right, don't I'm equal out, you. bro. I'm with you. All right. I'm well, there that. we go. I I'm win then. No, you don't win, but I'm <laughs> with you on that. Ka- all right. Well, whatever. Kanye ain't been in the game 20 years. Week has been in about 10. Yeah, but he not yay. He not a billionaire. Why you keep talking money? <laughs> money don't mean nothing. Records, to too. Yay yeah, got man. way more bigger records than, than, than The weekend. I don't care if you did the Super when Bowl. When it's all not. said and done, the weekend will be very close to Ye in records. I By itself. Now, I'm not talking about records that Ye puts the drum samples on. I'm exactly. talking about by himself. Well, all right. We, we but, Drake, but, but Ye got 21 Grammys and the weekend got like six. So that's a long way to go. And he got 10 more years. And, and he just performed at the Super Bowl. Which I never seen Kanye there. That's a fact, and that shit was whack. You thought it was whack? <laughs> nah, that's what the opinion said. It was. I liked it honestly. It was All cool. right, let's shoot he could, shot. He could have danced more, but I ain't got no. You want him to dance? That motherfucker's the Michael Jackson of our era. Get you the fuck me? out of here, dog. That, he said that boy that sing like Thriller. He ain't dancing. He for said shit. that that boy that sing on Thriller. That you know that been my nigga. Dude, that's what Drake said. That shit, man. I don't give a fuck what Drake said. That shit was not Michael Jackson. Get the fuck out of you spilling your shit. Well, you filled me up to the Bremiano. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> so, so, Drake, greatest rapper alive, my opinion. 
So Drake got the game. We know that. We know that. Drake, greatest rapper alive. Ever. Yeah. Greatest rapper ever, Drake. Yes or no? I can't say that yet. For me, I'm a, that's my opinion. I can't. Hold I on. like Drake. Oh, Drake is my question. Let me just stay on this for a second. You really think that though? You could say that with Pac, Big, Hove. Now you could say Drake is the best out of all them. Yes, because he got more hits than the Beatles, and okay. that's not even rap. Okay. So you, so Drake's he, the best rapper alive. Ever. Hove is Fuck the best alive. rapper alive. No 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 no. Ever. Oh ever. He's the best musician. Ever. Okay. That's I don't cool. want to put that you're, in. You're like, allowed to have that. No, no, opinion. no, no, no. I don't even want to put that in a rap so you so you could argue me with Hove. I want you to argue me with Michael Jackson okay. and people like that. Okay. Oh, fuck Hove. He don't got enough hits to argue my argument because you're going to talk about, oh, he don't put punchlines I mean, lines if you're together. going by hits, if you're going by stats, I don't together. know. We got to literally, somebody got to put that stat sheet together. Like, There's and, no and, stat sheet. I'm going to tell you like, the stat. Just because Drake said I got Listen. more slaps than the Beatles don't mean he really got more slaps than the Beatles, bro. Like, I don't know. Like, no. Do we? Like, academics, put that shit up. Let Listen. us see it. I can Google. Our my Google fingers are real uh, good. Maybe I don't know. Listen, honestly, hear I really me out. Don't. Fuck all that. Drake in ten years is the best musician ever to touch a microphone. So ten years from now? No, the ten years that he already spun in the game. Okay, that's a different era, man. Simple. Era. We came from Simple. vinyls and shit, you know. No, but I like. So. Rapper, I like I like Whitney Houston better as a singer. I like fucking Jay Z better as a rapper. I like fucking Michael Jackson better as a dancer. I like fucking Turtle better as a fucking dick sucker. <laughs> I, like, I like all these people. You missed me with that one. <laughs> I like all these people in fucking their different categories. Yeah. But when it, as a full package. Okay, listen, I love Drake, bro. Drake like, is number one. He fired. Let me and if you want to consider him a rapper, he's the best at everything. He's a rapper. That absolutely. Okay. That's for sure. Cool. But like, Next subject. It's very hard to say that, like, at this point, that Drake's better than Pac and Big and Ho. Why is like, it hard to say that? Because it, it, it's just hard to say that yet because it's too early. You know what I mean? You're just scared of to say that. I'm not scared to say that. Bro, he's better. Fuck it. Yo, listen. <laughs> Big only had three albums tops, if you want to include the one after death. Pac had like five albums, and three of them were after death. So regardless right, but the, but... of all that, I I love him too. And I would have, I fucking, uh, uh, Aaron Hernandez, if he didn't die and go to jail, he would be the best tight end ever. Uh, you know, I'm at, uh, what do you want me to tell you? I feel you. You know what I'm saying? I know disrespect. I no feel body. you, but I don't agree with you. No, I don't know okay. disrespect to anybody. I like Biggie. I know it's no disrespect. We you do know. this. This is our car conversation type shit. Yeah, that's you know our car saying? conversation. So like, Here's the deal. Yeah. No disrespect to nobody. No disrespect to anybody. I feel you. You sound like a lot of these LeBron dudes five years and ago. And I don't like LeBron. Five years ago, though. You know what I'm saying? Like five years ago, I was not agreeing that. LeBron is better than Jordan, but, but see, here's the at thing. this point, it's like it's like it's here's a the thing with Drake. So now let's start back to the beginning of the conversation. If Drake couldn't rap like he did on Lennon and Prepper, then I would have a, a deeper conversation with myself. See, I don't think. But hold on, hold on. I don't think Drake's done that since like. But hold on, hold on. Hear me out. Time, but man. hear me out. Since probably. Uh, but being Scorpion. that he can do that, I'm not asking him to do that all the time. But being that he can do that, that's up there with Big. That's up there. Like, that verse could have kept up with Big. I don't care if fuck if Big said it was all a dream. <laughs> I don't give a fuck if Tupac said Brenda had a baby. <laughs> that verse would have kept up. Okay, listen, man. Hold on, so, I like hold on, that hold on, verse hold on, a hold on, lot. Hold on. So what I'm trying to tell you. But I'm not going to label it a classic, bro. You know what I'm saying? Let me tell you. Are this. you you're labeling that a classic, but that shit not going to be a, a classic. What do you mean? Like Lemon Pepper is not going to be a classic, bro. What do you mean? What I just said. So you said that verse 
It's not a classic verse from Drake. It's not gonna be a classic. Like so, ten, like, all right, all right, like all right. three years from What's now. What's a classic verse from Jay Z? Um, so I can get your opinion on classic, then I can tell you what a classic verse is. A classic verse from Hove. Yes, give me one, bro. Like, um, give me one. Give you one? Yeah. Why you put me on a spot? That's not cool. Well, let me tell you. I'll give it to you. My favorite Mo verse. Mo better. Mo cheddar. Knock the horse off your polo sweater. Classic. That's a hit single. That's a 16. But that's cool. That's a 16, though. It's I'm not with, a hit. That's not a, all right, I'm not a you, classic. I, I'm, I'm with you on that. That's a classic song. But I was talking about class Whoa. first. But what that's you, okay. What you mean? You just told me it's a 16. Uh, What's a 16, check? A verse. It's a, right. Uh, no, I'm with you on that. I'm with you on that. This is way longer than a verse, so you give me more opportunities But that's just win. one from Hove. Like, we can go all well, day. Well, I was going to give you one that was a 24 or a little longer. It don't matter how it's long that shit is. So listen. When Dr- that when shit could Hove, be a fucking five-minute song. Hold on, listen. When Hove went up there... Or on Guns N' Roses, if you listen to Blueprint 2. He said, I'm so far ahead of my time. I'm about to start another life. Look behind me. I'm about to pass you twice. Right. That was the only thing comparable to what Drake said on that Lemon Pepper freestyle. Only thing. In your opinion? Cool. Preface it however you like. In your opinion? I, I, there's Preface more it hoves, however there's you like. There's more hove shit than I that. I know every hove verse from fucking 1996 to I'm now. not debating that. There's more than that. Uh, I know. I more know. Than Apollo, I can rap so that whole it. verse, both of them, front to back. And I'm telling you, it's equal. Okay. Uh, Listen, that's cool. let, let me tell you, Hove, talk that shit. I'm so far ahead of you by time. I'm about to start another life. Look behind me. I'm about to pass you twice. Got to start from the present. Friends, I'm fast. Gotta, niggas can't pass my past. How you propose to deal with the perfect present? Nothing right, right to get for the curse in one session. What about, no what about the interlude? Me. All that shit, bro. It's a lot Listen, of shit, bro. What I just gave you is one of the hoes. All right. Hottest verses. And... I'm talking about freestyles where it's over 24 bars. I'm not talking about songs. Hove, H to the about, O-V. I like my favorite Hove song is ever. It's a move snowflakes the by the O-Z. You keep talking about hit records. I'm not talking about hit records. That's not a hit. It's an interlude. What? What Fuck I just it. said. H to the O-V. You some move snowflakes by the O-Z. Even that's the biggest down. record off of that's fucking a blueprint. Inter- no, it's not. It's on the black album. It's an interlude. That's, bro. that's the. Uh, that's what I meant. That's the biggest. No, the album. biggest record was Ninety Nine Problems, and that's not it. Well, that's like, the second biggest record. What's the second biggest record? That encore. Uh, there's a lot of records, bro. Like I feel like you're overpassing these shits, bro. It's a lot of well, records. That's by the. Hope, that's bro. the. Hold on. A lot of records, bro. A lot of shit. H to the OV. You know this shit, move though. I'm about to snowflakes by the OZ. And it got friends. Bro, <laughs> all that shit is easy work. Bro, listen. So facts. No, no facts. I'm not getting you facts on nah, that. Nah, you talking about Drake. Ross got 200 acres. Facts. It's hot. I love it. But, bro, it's remained to be seen, like, that shit and I'm not cool gonna that. go down like the interlude, bro. That shit not gonna go down like any records we just fucking hummed in here. It's not going to. I don't care if it's a pandemic or if it's this or if it's that. Lemon Pepper is hot, but that shit not gonna go down like the interlude. It's not gonna go down like any of them whole records that are hold classics. On. Hold on, soon you'll understand. Hold on. I told y'all. Hold on. Dynasty. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Rockefeller. Hold on. It's not on. gonna go down like that. Shit. We're comparing. His throwaways? You can call it what hold you on, want. Hold on, hold on, We're comparing his throwaways to his fucking shit that was... Fucking that shit released, shit. bro. What you mean? That's a throwaway. Call it what you want. I don't give a fuck. Hov ain't got no throwaways, yes, he bro. Yes, do. What? For you God, shit me? Except for the R. Kelly John and maybe 444, maybe. That's it. What, I guess you what are we listen. throwing away by Hove, yo? I guess you ain't listening to the whole American Gangster album. You crazy as hell. I guess you ain't listening to the whole American Gangster album. This guy crazy That as shit, shit was all throwaway. He crazy. That shit that was shit is all fire. Throw- and it came behind a classic movie. Fuck. Man, you need to go back. Let's shoot a shot, man. Shoot a shot.
Go Give back. me a classic verse of American Gangster. I got you. I'll help you out. Uh, he had the fur on. He was like, "Fuck!" Uh, <laughs> he that, said, dude. "He said, I know." I forgot. <laughs> Give me a classic verse off of fucking. Uh... Ask me, please. I got you. I'm a hip hop historian. Please ask me. I got you. Nah, I'm not. Tell gonna, me that. I'm not gonna do that. Tell no, me that. I'm gonna give it to you. I promise you. Listen, Drake got Drake's got classics too, bro. Facts, but Jay Z got classics. Jay Z said, "Blue Magic." He said, "Death to Auto Tune." All that shit, bro. And Little Wayne killed that beat more than he killed it. Well, what's that tell you? And Drake would have killed it more than Little Wayne. What's that tell you? That shit was hot. <laughs> Hey man, yo, listen. I shit, just want to preface this, this by shit one all thing. Opinionated though. I just want to preface this with one thing. If you just said Kendrick, we wouldn't even had an argument. We didn't been on this topic for ten minutes. If we just said J Cole for what? Drake, uh, J Cole versus Jay Z, Kendrick versus Jay Z. Of course, because they don't drop like like Drake do. They're not as good. As Drake is. Listen. I don't care about all the lyrical, fearful bars you can put together. How many hits can you fucking make? Listen, I'm not a, I'm not disagreeing with listen, you. Listen, when it's listen. I'm just no, not ready no, to no. hand the crown over to Drake. I yet. am listen, listen. You you're the, the industry is it, about how many hits you can make. It ain't listen. In ten years, listen. I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna give that to you. Please in listen. Years. In five years I might, but not Please right now. Please listen. Bro. Not right now. Are you twenty twenty one? I don't wanna give you the wrong information. Don't try to be Jay Z and out rap yourself. They're not You wanna bro. make your hits and be Drake. Okay, you want to be fucking Drake, and you don't want to fucking come up with the most intricate bars and do goofy ass shit. That shit is a thing of the '90s. That shit is out the window. You want to get more hits than the Beatles and make a hundred million dollars, have your own jet. <laughs> Facts. Simple. I listen. I I can't disagree with you on that. But at the end of the day, we can't give it that to Drake. Shit. We just talked about Nicki Minaj. Nicki Minaj is that Jay-Z pedigree where she wants to rap all these intricate bars but can't make a fucking that's hit. Not, that's Nicki not Minaj true, bro. comes in like Drake that's, and fucking makes hits. Nah, that ain't and as simple bro. as that. That ain't true, bro. When Nicki did Super Bass and Starship. That's not that's a good record, but that's not number one to hit. But like that ain't Nicki fucking Brown. lyrical fearical, bro. At the end of the day. It's a great record that took her months to make. But here's the deal. That months or hours, who the fuck knows, bro? But at the end of the day, it ain't it I ain't rapping. That fucking it, she, documentary behind those records. But she trying to make a hit, bro. It ain't listen. Like, it ain't it ain't listen. that though. Cardi B made that made Bodak Yellow with, listen, with, with, with dirty listen, braids in on, with no out. shower. But listen, this is And why, she did that and <laughs> she this, was rocking. But look, listen, right? This is why shoot your shot is great because we don't fucking settle on what the fuck yeah me. You know what I'm saying? So we we are on like spawn. What time we at? I don't give a fuck about no time. I do because I'm I'm trying to wrap this shit the fuck up. I ain't, I'm gonna keep it real with you. You trying to wrap it up? Yeah, it's where we at, Jay? A lot, right? Over an hour, right? Yeah. No, it ain't over no hour. I got another question for you. You got one more? All right, go ahead. Spit it out. <laughs> Are you ready? Why are you cheesing like Kodak Black over there? Are you ready? Are right, you ready? I'm gonna line up a shot. All right, line up a shot because you gonna need a shot. For you this got a one. question for me? Yes. All right. He got a question. Let's get it. You want to shoot it first or? Oh shit! <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> I got a great question for you. This shit about to be over. Because you swear you know what's going on, Joe. I, listen, I, I got a question I, for I just, you. I got one question for you. Say I, I just got one question for you. We're going to shoot a shot first. You want to shoot it first? Shoot yeah. your shot. Shoot your fucking shot. We all shoot on like Spawn. Shot. We all on Terra Mana. Yes. Jay, you drive it down to the city. Down? All right. 
Here's my question, Joe. Don't edit this out, neither. Can I ask it? Go ahead, bro. <laughs> this guy crazy as hell. Will Bobby Schmurter's first single do more than six nines? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I, have, I have no idea. I don't know, bro. I hope so. I would hope hold on, so. Hold on, but... hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's go back to the old pocket. Oh, it's just because he got home. It's just because he came home. It's just because he did this. It's just because he did that. Well, the only will thing I... Bobby Smurders first single come out? Will it be? Will it be better? I give you two options. Will it be better, Gooba? Will it be better, and will it do more views and numbers? Probably not. But I'll but I'll do, I'll tell oh, you this, I'll tell you this why? though. Why? Why? I'll tell you this though. Bobby got to keep dropping. He like he should have been dropped at this point. I don't know. Wh- oh, I don't know. I got I got a deeper question for you, dude. Cause what is it now? What, should he today? have what's snitched today? and got out earlier and kept his momentum? Come on, though. <laughs> 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 Why? <laughs> like what? <laughs> Woo-hoo! Today's the twenty seventh of March, right? So, Bobby, wh- when did Bobby get out? Seven years later. Two weeks ago, probably. He should have dropped by now at this point, because six nine didn't even wait a week to drop, and that shit did fucking thirty billion views in right, twenty twenty four hours. That's my thing. Like at this point, uh, Bobby should have used that momentum when he came out. To drop, I don't care if it, it, was, it was solo, dolo, with a feature, whatever. He should have dropped, bro. That motherfucker should have been in the studio in his own crib. I would, if I was your engineer, Bobby, I'd have came through there with the fucking tube tech, the goddamn Neve, and the U eighty seven. We'd have been recording that fucking hit, baby, and we would have put that shit out the next fucking day, bro. Like, I know you was in jail. You could have wrote. Like, we go to put that shit out, bro. I don't know what the fuck type time your label or whatever the situation is. Just say dropped. one thing with me. He should have dropped, bro. Just can you say one thing with me? Hmm. He's not as big as six now. It doesn't matter. But check. <laughs> check. Listen to this, I'm check. Done I'm done with the pod. I'm oh, done with the pod. Oh, listen, 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 listen. Before you get off, agree with me on, agree with me on this. He should have dropped. Nem- already- Yo, Roddy Rebel already got a song with CJ. All right, but listen. Yo, this show, hold on, hold on. Fuck, fuck all that. I got you, hold on. We talk I about got- Bobby, bro. It's Bobby's time. Fuck all of them. When Bobby came home, that was a big thing, right? No. Yes, it was everywhere. It was on World Star. It was on Academics. It was on you. Shade Room. It was everywhere, though. Bob- I think when Rowdy came home, it was bigger when Bobby came home. That's my opinion. When who came home? Rowdy, his man. But yeah, Bobby the bag, bro. Like it seemed like Rowdy I, the bag. I ain't hear none of them yet, though. No, Rowdy on the remix with CJ. Woo D, I'm on the bottom of the boob D. He's in the club. Rowdy's oh, already right. in the club. I'm not familiar with, Ra- with Rowdy. I'm familiar with Bobby. So That's, I'm letting you know. Rowdy's right. already in the club. All right, my fault. You know but what I'm French saying? Montana, it's Rowdy, French Montana, and CJ. I would just love to see Bobby do his thing ASAP. Like, he, so listen, here's the bro. part that scares me about Bobby. But let me let me just break yo, it down. This is what pissed me off, though. Like, bro, I don't like, want to. I, I didn't want to do that because I'm but, not but, a real but, nigga but, for you doing saw, that. You saw you saw Migo, you saw Quavo. Let me clear myself up. And Bobby, let me clear myself up. This is where I'm not being a real nigga. The most goofy ass shit. Well, don't ever me, say that again. But go ahead. Oh, let me let me let me hear, let me let, <laughs> let me let me let me clear myself up. One thing about six nine is he never smoked and all that. He never got high, so he can make records off the top of his head. I don't care about none of that. All right, but shit. hear me out. Bobby can't do none of that, and I know what a what a what a, uh, a artist feels like when he can't get out of his zone to make a record. Bro, but so, if you were in jail for that long, you should have been penning, penning, pen, pen, pen Franklin, bro. You. I'm not asking you. I'm just making my PSA 
on what all I right. said. All right, go ahead. My PSA is I understand Bobby, like, he got a lot of pressure on him. You know, he made a number one record. You know, that's like I said, this Nicki Minaj don't even got too many number ones, and I don't think she got any, to be honest with you. We're talking about the biggest rappers in the game. And, and that's the thing about Jay-Z. I don't think he got a number one record. And that's the biggest what? artist. You want me to tell you again? See, you don't do the research, so I'm telling you research. Hove don't have a number one? I don't think he do. No, he don't. It's crazy. I would almost bet that. You want to Google? You want to put a, let's put a $20 bet point. on that. Put a $20 we, bet on that? You want to put a $20 bet yeah, on that? Yeah, for sure. Huh? For sure. All right, let's put a $20 bet on that. Number one record. And I'm not talking about feature. It doesn't Over. matter if it's a feature or not. No, huh? it do. First off, JC holds the record for the most number one debuts on the chart. No, on Billboard. Not on hot not on hip hop. Billboard is on Billboard. He don't hold no records. Crazy. We're not we're talking about on Billboard. We're not talking about on BT fucking slides. All right, go ahead. Continue anyway, your point. Anyway, you can't you're not gonna be able to find it. It's cool. I got you, bro. He don't have no records on that. I promise you. Drake got all the records on that. Neither him did. Crazy as shit. I don't wanna... I'm looking at them right now. It's three of them right here. What's the three? No. I don't even want to hear it. Heartbreaker hey. with Heartbreaker. Mariah Carey. Heartbreaker. That doesn't, shit, me. That doesn't matter. No. Crazy in Love with Beyonce. You shit me. What? You shit me. Crazy in Love? Crazy in Love. That's not a hit? It's a hit. Thank you. Beyonce. That's a Beyonce record. Umbrella. <laughs> a Rihanna record. You shit me. Empire State of Mind. I know a Rihanna record. It's not a Jay Z record. He has no number ones. It doesn't, it, bro. He has no number ones in a 25, 30 year illustrious career by himself. It don't say no Jay Z featuring. Okay. But you can go and do the exact opposite and search Drake. And it'll say Drake featuring. Okay. Okay. Eminem. Where, what was our conversation before that, though? Fuck all that. Our conversation will be and always be Drake is number one ever. <laughs> uh, that's it down on there. Right. We're at the end of the podcast. Right, we out chill. We what? out chill. Let's shoot another Let's shot, shoot a man. Fucking shot. Yeah, yeah. Jumbo won't agree with me, so we won't I'm come not, I'm, not, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing no, it. No, and I hate to be on the opposite side of Jay-Z because I'm an old school yeah, Jay-Z nah, fan. He's a fucking I know hater. more of Jay-Z, Bob, Jay-Z than he know about Jay-Z. Get the but fuck I just want to be you... like more political. So That's I'd rather cool, be though. I'd rather I, I be the voice that. of the popular opinion. I respect that move. I'd rather be the voice of the pop. He don't even know Jay Z's raps. I know Jay Z's raps Yo, front to back. Here, I know Jay Z's raps He's front to back. Crazy shit. Listen, Yo, Hove no, no bullshit. is my favorite rapper. Period. I will tell y'all again. I like Drake. I Hove like- taught me how to rap. Lil Wayne told me I could rap. Simple as that. Well, you're a fucking sucker then, checkmate. (laughs) (laughs) I'm cool with that. Shoot your fucking shot. (coughs) It's all love. Shoot your shot. Scores, where you at, man? You could have came into this conversation. We're going to get scores on here next time. You know what I'm saying? We... We got a lot of guests, yo. Siani, where you at? Shout out Siani, shout out OT. OT, you coming on next he too, bro. He coming on too, man. That's my guy. My um, guy. You know what I'm saying? Shout out everybody, man. Every artist that come here and record, listen, we going to get you on here too, okay? Yo, if you come here and record, so, we boxing everybody out that don't come as record. As long as you 21 and ready to drink, we with it, baby. Mm-hmm. Come on. Let's get it. You could pick your bottle too. We drink a Terramana. Hey, this, listen, we had to go to kill it tonight, and we killed that shit. So stop fucking playing with us, baby. Shoot your shot. Shoot your shot. Hey.
Thank you, Jay. Thank you, Jay.